Aries was the crack. I <laughs> hope you're well. This is Madame Butterfly and this is going to be messages from your person for me or just whenever they happen to, you know, whenever it happens to pop up in your feed, Aries, because that's when it was meant for you. Um, you're so welcome here. Thank you so much for checking out the, the reading. I really appreciate you taking the time to do so. Um, if you find it resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do that too. If you head down to the description box, there's a link to my Fiverr page. Um, there's pretty strong feelings here from your person, Aries. There's no, there's no question here about if. This is a question of when, okay? You have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Your person is like... They want to make you an offer, okay, but they want it to be a solid offer. You're dealing, you could be, I don't know, you're dealing with someone who's not screwing around. You know, they know what they want and it's you. Because right in the middle of the reading, see so you have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, so that's the offer they want to make you, right? And this is, this is a, just a matter of time, Aries. Then you have the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. So see this dude's working on that pentacle? This is what they're working on just now. And it's for happiness, for the, with that Ten of Cups, it's long-term happiness with you. Because you make them happy, Aries. You know, you're the one that they see this long-term commitment with. You also have the Empress right underneath the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, bear in mind that Empress is the mother of the deck. So they could well be seeing you as the mother or the father of their children, their future children. Um, for sure, the Empress is someone that you want to grow with, you want to build a life with. Someone that makes you feel very safe, very nurtured, very welcoming, you know? Like, she keeps a good house, do you know what I mean? She's like a good hostess. Things just naturally kind of flow to her as well. Um, you also, I'm noticing the Two of Pentacles just popped out when I moved the deck, so it feels to me they're not deciding about you, they're deciding how. This is a how rather than um, an if, you know what I mean? You have the full with the Eight of Cups here, so there's going to be a new beginning. Your person is, is walking away from something. Uh, it's also a leap of faith, the full, so they're going to take a leap of faith with you, Aries. Um, the Eight of Cups is like... It's walking away from something, okay? This could be anything. This could be a situation. This could be things that they think holding them back. You know what I mean? But something's not been working for them. See how there's a gap here? It's because this little dude has taken his cup of love because it wasn't working here. Whatever, he, whatever this person had given their cup of love to before was not working for them. So they've taken it away and they're going to come towards you with it. This is basically the relationship that you want because you have the three of cups with the strength card the strength card indicates a very obviously a strong relationship but because it's built on such honest and open foundations that's why the strength card represents such a strong relationship you know because it's two people that know where they stand you know you guys want the same things also, see if you look at the way that lion is looking at her, it's devotion, you know? This person is going to be loyal like a dog, devoted to you, Aries. There's real devotion here. And with the Three of Cups as well, you're going to have a lot of fun. You know, the Three of Cups is a celebration. It's not going to be like heavy, heavy drama, like... Oh, you know what I mean? Like, are they gonna call me? Are they not gonna call? Like, if I say this, is it gonna drive them away? Like, you know, having to walk around on eggshells and be on your best behavior and all that? No, with this person, no. Because there's this balance of happiness and strength in the foundations of the relationship, which only comes when you're dealing with, in my opinion, it only comes when you're dealing with someone who is kind of on your level, you know what I mean? If you're dealing with someone that's like not wanting the same things as you or like maybe a bit immature or something, you're not going to be able to have that. So, um, yeah, but they're doing a lot of thinking at the moment. I would say they're, I don't know about stuck in their head to be honest, I would say more planning. They're planning something, they're planning, they're scheming, plotting, Aries, but it's something good because with that Six of Pentacles, 
they want to be able to give to you you know whether this is um i have two cards here of wanting to be able to give you and it's it's like it doesn't have to necessarily be money but it's sort of s screaming to me like wanting to be able to give you a life you know what i mean they want to be able to build something with you here so there is, it's more of a situation of thinking about how they're going to do that, you know? Like again with that Ten of Cups and the, the eight, eight of Pentacles here, they're like working on an offer to see how you, get, you guys are going to get there. But it seems to be more on their side, like they, I don't know if, like take care of you, but like definitely like build something with you. You can see with the Six of Cups again you have giving, you know, wanting to be able to give to you and the three of pentacles of wanting to build a life with you, a stable life, very reminiscent of the strength card actually. I like this person, they seem like really balanced and wholesome, do you know, like they have a very good grasp on, I feel like they have a good grasp on what an Aries would need, do you know what I mean? Because it doesn't seem to be like a dominant, overwhelming kind of, uh, like, taking care of you it's like wanting to build with you do you know what I mean but that's why there's been this delay because they want this commitment with you with the ten of pentacles you know there it's like they're trying to that's they're trying to figure out how to get this with you that's why there's been the, this delay um and again this offer of um See, they want to be able to offer you something with that Knight of Cups, like they want to be able to come forward with this offer of love. But with this Five of um, Wands, it's like how to do it, how to bring it down into reality and ground it. That's what I'm trying to say, ground it. This person is trying to work out how to ground the relationship. <clears throat> do you know what I mean? So this is more of a question of when than if. To be honest with you, it's just a matter of time, Aries. It's just a matter of time. You also have love yourself first at the bottom of this deck. So I don't know if that's referring to your person or you. Maybe a bit of both. <clears throat> but you have, remember the red cards are, the whole thing is messages from your person, but the red cards are also messages from your person. Pretty self-explanatory, Aries. I love you. Strong attraction. You also have, um, you have, you already know them and you have old flame, but past life didn't come out. Doesn't mean it's not a past life, but it's definitely someone you know in this life, um, which makes sense because it's like messages from your person. But I am wondering if it is a soulmate connection here and like a past life connection, because I feel like there's a familiarity here. Do you know what I mean? Because this person seems very comfortable with you. It seems very much seems like more of a, like I said, more of an a when than an if. So it's it's almost like they know subconsciously that you're the one. You know, it feels almost like there's like this unwritten knowing <coughs> between you both because there's this kind of familiarity, which honestly it usually comes from a past life connection. So. Um, I think about you all the time. So even if you're not in communication, they never stop thinking about you, Aries. You also have let yourself be loved again. So this is either you or them. Um, maybe someone has their defenses up a little bit, Aries. Could be you. Mm, you know, because it's usually these cards are kind of speaking to you. So maybe you have some barriers up, Aries. I'm coming back. So if you're in separation, they're definitely en route back leveling up for you yeah figuring out how to do this and my favorite i will never leave you i love that card <clears throat> guess which person has abandonment issues <laughs> no um with this ten of pentacles and the ten of cups see yeah you're looking at someone long term you know what i mean this person's thinking they're thinking long term I think a commitment here with you. I think that's why the delay, you know, like I keep saying, it's, it's a question of like how to ground it, you know, because they know what they want and it is you. So <laughs> I'm going to leave it on that cheesy note, Aries. I'm going to leave it there. You see my hair flopping about in the shadow. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed your reading. I enjoyed reading for you. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. Um, and thank you for watching Aries. Don't be a stranger. Bye.